What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Nickel and Dime DIY. My name's Triple M. And let me guess, you just got done hearing, Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, can we have a pool? Can we, can we, can we? Well, if you have, join the club. Now, whether you're looking at this particular model of pool or any other small pool, there's a lot of good tips and things for you to think about in this video, so make sure you check it out. And you can leave a comment down below with what pool you're looking to buy, or maybe you already have it. So thanks for watching.
And this has no bearing on my opinion of this pool because you will have to buy this stuff no matter what pool you buy. So realistically, plan on spending at least double the first year of operation. So if you're an absolute newbie like I was and you spend $200 on the pool, you most likely spend at least $200 on accessories. So the first year initially you'll be spending $400 in total. Just so you factor that in. That's not even counting landscaping. Just so you're aware of that. I'm going to give my honest opinion here to help you make a well-informed decision if you're thinking about buying the Summer Waves 12 by 33 inch small above ground pool. Let's start with the bad. Well, for starters, if you're over three feet tall, you can't swim in it. I mean, it is what it is. It's more of a plunge pool. I have a small family of four. It was just enough space to get wet in. My kids were two and a half and seven when we first got it. Now, three seasons later, with them being almost five and ten, we may be outgrowing it. I've never had more than four of us in it, so I don't know how it would hold up with more people. To say the only other con about this pool, and it's the biggest con, is getting in and out of it. They don't give you many options. They sell some kind of cheap ladder that I wouldn't recommend. It's more of a death trap than anything. And none of the other ladders or steps they sell work or fit this pool. I know I've tried. I tried everything. That's why I created the pool steps that I mentioned earlier in the video because it was an absolute nightmare, like I said. Just hoisting the kids in and out over the side, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to build them out of sheer necessity. And after that, it's been nothing but pleasure going in and out of the pool. So that's a real big drawback is getting in and out unless you build some custom steps yourself. Now for the pros. Well, for roughly $200, give or take, depending on the time of year that you buy this pool, it doesn't break the bank. Also, it's very compact. I have a yard with a very small amount of usable square footage at the moment, and I was able to put this right in the corner, not wasting a lot of space. That was a big plus. The area that I have it in is probably about 20 by 30, and I got room all around it so that's about 600 square feet so you need less than that to house the pool also maintenance isn't too expensive either there's really only a few things you need to buy over and over again for this pool so that makes it pretty easy to maintain as well maintenance doesn't take a lot of time out of your day to skim vac clean the filters about 30 minutes on average I do that three four times a week like I said my kids were two and a half and seven when I put this up this was perfect for the little ones to hone their swimming skills at first and not give mom and dad a heart attack in my opinion this probably has to be the best looking small pool this is the gray wicker color pattern I believe they have some other color options maybe a tan wicker but I really like the way that this one looked and I'm very pleased to say I had no leaks honestly that was my biggest fear initially but this pool has held up for three seasons and counting and outside the issues that I had with the pool pump initially and the rust on the frame which to me the rust is a minor issue I'm in a subtropical climate it's to be expected this has been a very good pool to me I believe the investment was well worth it, and I highly recommend it. And if you have any questions regarding this pool that I may have not touched in this video, feel free to drop a comment, and I'll answer them the best I can. There you have it. I tried to give you an honest feel of what it's like owning a small pool. You really have to think of it as like owning a pet. You take care of it, you maintain it, it'll purr for you. You neglect it, don't treat it right, it's gonna bite and scratch you. So if you like this video, make sure you check out some of my other small pool videos. Thanks for watching.